Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. Amazon plans on refreshing the Kindle Oasis and they are going to do it sometime in 2022, likely in the next two to three weeks. What features will it have? How do we know that they're going to be releasing this? Let's dive into it. The Amazon Kindle lineup has been refreshed. We have the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition and the Paperwhite 11 generation that came out in November of 2021. So that's relatively new and it's the newest generation Paperwhite. The all new Kindle Basic, which is their entry level e-reader, uh, they announced it maybe about a month ago. It's coming out in the middle of October and they have just announced the Kindle Scribe, which is an all new product. It's half digital note taking device and half e-reader so it's a 10.2 inch screen providing enough screen real estate to read not just books but also manga um, pdf files and all, all that jazz so we do know that amazon has a kindle oasis waiting in the wings many users have sent me emails screenshots of Kindle Oasis 2022 edition USB-C and a few other things in the title but it doesn't really give like a lot of things away. I've actually seen this for myself today. If you go to the amazon.com website, look for the Kindle Scribe and then click on the trade in button at the top of the screen and just type in Oasis. You'll actually see an Oasis 2022 edition in the drop down menu. Now, this is just placeholder. They haven't actually created a product page for it yet that I've seen. And for FCC applications, Amazon never does applications in their own name. They do it through like third party holding companies. So nobody could actually see what they're doing in advance. Whereas uh, Kobo, Barnes and Noble, They'll do FCC applications in their own name so we can actually get an idea about what they're releasing three or four months before they're actually announcing it. So what new features will the 2022 Kindle Oasis have? There were a few reference specs on their websites but um, I believe that there's a few things that are found on other devices that are relatively new that will be on the Oasis. So. The upcoming Paperwhite Signature Edition and all and the Scribe all have e encarted 1200 e-paper displays. We've seen other e-readers employ this technology such as Amazon, Kobo with the Kobo Clara 2E as well as the Kobo Sage. The Pocketbook Era uses this as well as the Fujitsu Quaderno. What does this really do? Why does this matter? Why should you care? Well, it increases page turn speed by 25% and about overall performance by around 30 to 35%. So if you actually have a Paperwhite 11 Gen in your possession, you'll probably notice that's way faster than previous generations. And it's not because of the processor or the, you know, the RAM or anything like that. It's because of the new e-paper panel, the capacitive layer and like the touch layer and everything else is in one single film now instead of multiple films. So it's more responsive and more, uh, you can integrate touchscreen functions a lot easier. So they're easier to tap and things just load quicker. So I believe also that the upcoming Oasis 2222 edition will employ the same processor as the Paperwhite and Scribe use, which is a one gigahertz MediaTek MT8 113 processor. Uh, given already Amazon has integrated um, you know, the SDKs and the stack into the, their Linux software, they're not going to use another processor in the Oasis. They'll use this because it's the path of least resistance. I know engineers and they don't want to have to like rewrite all this code for another processor in for just one single model. Given that the scribe and all of their other paperweights are using this, it makes sense that the Oasis will use this as well. Um, RAM. You know, RAM makes a big difference with performance with Android, but Linux a lesser extent. So Paperwhite's used 512 MB of RAM. The Scribe was using one gig of RAM. I believe the new Oasis will probably use 512 because it's it's a reading and consumption device. Comics, manga, uh, ebooks probably, audiobooks as well, since it'll have Bluetooth. So the Scribe needs that extra, uh, you know, 512 MB of RAM, one gig total, because it's 
pretty well, you're gonna be writing on it, so it needs to be able to have a little bit of hardware to support that. Touch screen interactions with like the, the stylus, as well as PDF files. P writing on PDF files, viewing PDF files, is gonna be a big proponent of this, so they need the extra RAM to make this a little bit more fluid, whereas the Oasis consumption device, Paperwhite consumption device, Kindle Basic consumption device. Um, the battery will also be enhanced. So the, 29, the 2019 version only had um, an 1130 milliamp battery. And I believe it'll be upgraded to 1700 milliamps. So that's probably about a week to two weeks extra battery life. So, so let's say that the 2019 Kindle Oasis, if you read it for two or three hours a day, you generally have to recharge it every week and a half to two weeks. This will, the 2022 model will last you about a month. And plus it's using a new battery. It'll have full charges. So you'll be able to use it for a pretty long time before you actually have to recharge it via USB-C or a wall outlet. It'll have obviously Bluetooth because all new Kindle models from their basic version to their ultra premium version, they all have Bluetooth. They want people to be able to not only just buy Kindle books, but buy audio books from Audible as well. Cause I mean, obviously Amazon owns Audible. So audiobooks will be a big difference. Other than the upgraded hardware specs, will anything be different? I believe that the screen will be larger. The, the Oasis originally, the, for the first few generations that it came out, there's three different models and they all had the same screen size. But now that the Kindle Paperwhite is basically the same size screen as the Kindle Oasis, they need a differentiating factor so it looks different than the paper whites right now. And I believe that instead of seven inches, it'll be upgraded to eight inches or perhaps even nine inches. It'll still have a 300 PPI display, so you'll still get razor sharp fonts and it'll still have the page turn buttons and things like that. So it'll still have the same H symmetrical design as language as the previous generation Oasis. So. You know that's what they want to maintain. They want the, the they want it to basically look the same, flush screens and bezel, page turn buttons. You know having it sort of thin on one side and a little hump on it because that's the design language of the Oasis. They want to maintain that whether they increase the screen by an inch, going to eight inches, or whether they add an additional inch, nine inches. Who knows? This is just pure speculation on the screen sizes. So when will they announce it? Well. That's the million dollar question. I believe that they will announce it in November and it should be available right away to order. So they want to give the Kindle scribe enough time in the news cycle before coverage starts to die down. They also don't want to release it before their two day prime early access sale on October 11th and 12th. After this two day event, the Kindle basic 2022 model will begin shipping on October 15th and everyone will be review reviewing it. So this model will stay in a new cycle until the end of October between the end of October and December. I believe that this is the perfect time for them to announce the Oasis. So generally from October 30th to about November, uh, sorry, and yeah, October 30th to about November 15th will probably be the best, you know, to do it because on the end of the November, so, so let's say November 30th will be when the scribe comes out. So Amazon will have basically an entire month to devote to the Oasis, whether they're going to take pre-orders right away or whether they're going to release it right away. But some sort of announcement will happen sometime before a week before the end of October and the you know first few weeks of November. So that's generally when we'll hear about the new Oasis. What do you think about it? Do you think that this is legit? Do you think that they'll finally refresh the Oasis? I've seen enough compelling evidence from emails that people have sent me all over the world, as well as I've seen it myself on the Amazon website. So a new Oasis in 2022 is incoming. It's just a matter of when they're gonna announce it. And if you've looked at everything I've said about when the basics coming out, when the scribes coming out, when these new prime events coming out, it kind of makes sense that for including the timeline, when we might see a, an Oasis announcement. Do you think I'm on off base? Do you think that the features that I mentioned is something that they're going to be doing? Let's hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below. For goodyreader.com, my name is Michael and everybody take care.